Want to keep up with the latest Komodo gaming videos? Be sure to subscribe and click that bell. Uh oh, uh oh, oh, I guess we're gonna test out the crashes here. Oh, <laughs> guess what? They're still pretty brutal. Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of BeamNG Driver, should I say automation. Yes folks, the collab is finally here, you can finally build your own cars in BeamNG Drive without having to know all the modding and all the complicated models and all that other good stuff. Uh, this is Morley up my alley, I was really excited to see this uh, little collab announced. And it's here. It's out on the 13th. So what we're going to be doing here today, we're going to be designing and building our own car. We'll take it over to BeamNG Drive, see if it works, and see if we can crash the thing. I'm really excited for this. I am going to time-lapse the building process because it does take a little bit to build one of these cars. And I'll talk during that and try to explain some of the things that I'm doing. If you want to completely skip that, that's fine. I'll flash it up on screen. That's where you need to go, and you'll get into the BeamNG part of the video. But anyways, if you want to see more of this on the channel be sure to hit that thumbs up button and comment below with new vehicles that you would like to see me design all right so here we are uh, the car that I went with uh, to try to build is kind of like a I think it was a 2010 kind of sports model and I wasn't really sure what I was doing at all I had previously built one car and I didn't even try to run it uh, we will run it in the beam and G portion of the video uh, but basically what I'm doing, since this is sandbox mode, I don't have to worry about money. So I'm putting as many performance parts, trying to make it have a big motor, uh, really light, uh, just trying to soup the thing up. But of course in the automation game, you would actually have to worry about cost and everything else. And reliability too. Uh, that's another thing I probably skipped a little bit on. I think this current car, I put a V10 in it, and you can see that I'm trying to shape everything because uh, you have a limited amount of space or like a fill space that you have to kind of meet so i went there i'm trying everything i can to get some performance out of this because i saw uh, neil do this the other day and i think his car only got up to like 61 miles per hour so i was like if i can get up to like 70 i'll be happy so in here you can see i'm doing some of the engine uh tuning they've got some really neat screens some testing screens to show you maybe where there's some reliability issues so here is where you actually start to, uh, to shape the body, and I had no clue what I was going for here. I think this was a, a convertible model, even though you see, I believe this is a hard top on it. And I was like, alright, I want to make it look somewhat sporty, but you can really warp the body into some weird positions. Uh, but I wanted to go ahead and say, if you guys ever want to see this on camera slow down, let me know. Maybe we can do separate videos next time. Uh, but for the sake of the update here, this is why I'm speeding this along. So I'm going there, I'm putting on some headlights, uh, you get to shape those. Uh, you get to select some predetermined ones, but you can really shape them, make them bigger. Uh, you can see I'm doing the grill here, going to the tail lights. Uh, I believe I pretty much got everything that I needed onto this car. Uh, you can do rims, and even I believe some uh, aerodynamic pieces too. So I've got that, I've got a little... Uh, I don't know what that's called. It's like a lip in the front. Now, I was trying to figure out a wing to stick on this, and I finally settled on this one you see on screen. I didn't want to make it look too ridiculous because I'm not a big fan of wings, but I don't know. I just thought it would be cool for the model. So I did that. Uh, you can see the little mirrors I put on. I got a little antenna on top. License plate. I do believe... Oh, this is where I was trying to figure out how to stick the exhaust tips on. I finally figured out how to put two of them on. Uh, they have like a little mirror mode too on here, which is pretty cool. So I think for the most part, uh, what we're moving on to next, which is kind of weird because it's in this order, uh, I'm doing some things with the tires, which I believe I had screwed something up and made them like bicycle tires at first. But I started to adjust those, and then you move on to stuff like your brakes and some interior items. All right, I think our car is okay i can't guarantee that it's gonna be fast and or work we're gonna go ahead and click design here so i think we're good to go here it kind of gives you a little bit of information about what it thinks uh your car might need but what you need to do here you just go down once you're done go export car into beam ng so it's gonna do that there we go i don't know what to name this we've already named one uh we'll just name this komodo 2 We'll go Komodo 2, all right, and export, and boom, it's exporting it over into Beam and G, and we're about to jump over there and check out the cars. 
All right, so we are now in BeamNG Drive. So let's go ahead and go into Free Roam. Oh, they have the automation test track is actually in here. They uh, put that over there. That's kind of cool. Uh, I don't want to test there, though. We need to hit the streets of West Coast, USA. Uh, we'll go ahead and start on the highway. So I'm hoping that our vehicles are going to be in the game. We'll have to see here, though. All right, so here we are. You can see my car list here, and look at this Komodo 2, and then the one I designed uh, off camera is Komodo Custom. So we can grab the Komodo 2 car. Can we actually paint it, or is it going to just be whatever we painted it in the uh, in automation? Maybe that's what it is. All right, so let's go ahead and spawn this bad boy in and see how terrible it is. I'm actually kind of afraid of this. I don't know. Maybe we did a good job. Maybe we didn't. All right, there she is. You know, the models aren't that bad. Uh, they're not quite up to, I would say, Beam and G standards as far as the way they look, but they still look plenty fine to me. Uh, let's go ahead and test this thing out, all right. Hey! Hey, this thing's got a bit of pickup. It, it hangs up a little bit and it's gearing. You can hear that goes, all right. Whoa, this thing's actually pretty fast. What the heck did we create? All right, you know what? I'm actually kind of satisfied by this. Okay, this is still going good. Oh, this is cool. This is a fast car, too. Wow, we put that together really quick. Actually, it did change the color, too. That's pretty cool. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I guess we're going to test out the crashes here. Oh! <laughs> guess what? They're still pretty brutal. Oh, wow. Oh, you can see right through my vehicle. <laughs> Woo! That was cool. You know, I did not expect that to work. I looked, the caution lights came on. All right, so we have the Komodo Custom here, which is surprisingly a fast car. I actually really just want to go back into automation and start designing more cars now that I realize that that was actually going to work. I did not expect that to work at all. I'm kind of curious. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the, uh, the hunk of crap that I built earlier and see if it compares to this because it was literally the first thing I built and I had no clue what I was doing. Well, I still don't, but I really didn't have a clue what I was doing. All right, so I introduced you to the, uh, the Komodo Custom. This was the first car I built, which it is ugly. Look at the headlights. It's derpy. It looks like a really derpy version of Lightning McQueen or something. I'm not really sure what this is. Alright, so question is, does this thing run like the other one? Uh, oh, 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 this one doesn't feel like maybe it doesn't quite have, wow, this thing, tires, its tires are slipping like crazy. It's still spinning the tires at 100 miles per hour. What is wrong with this? Actually, those tires look really thin. Once I look at them, they look almost like bicycle tires. Surprisingly fast, but I have a feeling this thing's gonna really just oversteer. Yep. Oh, it's oh, it's so loose. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, hold on to it. All right. I gotta... Oh. You know, it's got decent speed. It's not quite as fast as the other one. Question is, does it turn? Oh, it's got no brakes. Oh, wow. This thing does not slow down. Oh. Jeez, this is a death trap. All right. Let's go ahead and see if we can... Can we whip this thing around? Is that a is that a thing in this car? I don't believe it is. Yeah, this thing's embarrassing. Uh, at least the other one I'm halfway proud of. This is a, a hunk of crap. It's like somebody has the uh, a back end a little bit like a Corvette or like an older Corvette. They stuck a big wing on it. And the wing doesn't even really match the car. All right, so this thing has a topping out speed of 150 miles per hour. But you know what I think about this? This thing's a hunk of crap. Oh, I'm going to miss the cars. Oh... Oh, ouch. You know, I don't think the uh, the soft body physics, it does look good on these cars. They're not quite as crunchy as your standard Beam and G car because hitting at 150 at that barrier to dead stop probably would have basically made the car in half on the uh, normal cars, but still the damage model is still plenty good to me. All right, so let's go ahead and go back to this one. Did we actually top out? We might have to go to a different track here. I kind of want to test the handling on this. All right, so it's got plenty of pickup. It does feel like it hangs, and this is an automatic, uh, but it still feels like it hangs and it's gearing a little bit. It'll, like, get up. It'll kind of almost stop for a little bit and then get going again. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, scrape the wall. Okay, it's still not a big fan of the, the high speed. Oh, boy. Oh, we've broken something on the car. Oh, yeah, the, the wheels don't look like they're turning right. 
Oh boy. All right, so we're testing this out again. You know, I'm actually really surprised by the car's pickup. It's uh, surprisingly pretty good in that regard. Top speed's nice. I don't know about handling though, so we're gonna, we might actually have to go to a racetrack or something. Actually, here we go, here comes a corner. All right, so it's brakes. Could use a little bit better braking. This is so cool being able to test these out. So I could always go back into automation and actually tweak this thing. Uh, to my liking I'd like to figure out what's wrong with the first and second gear because yeah they just it goes stops goes stops but once it gets past that it's pretty good now we just hit the wall all uh, right we're gonna get on the bumps here let's go ahead and test this out we might have to do a police chase here in a second oh I built a custom sports car and I'm about to wrap it around a tree and we lost the uh, we lost the wing there it's okay it's okay oh geez up oh, up oh, that's curved all right oh there's the uh, train station it's fine. It's fine. Totally okay. Oh, let's check the damage. Eh, damage is pretty good. All right, so we are back with the Komodo Custom. Now, we will test this out on, like, an actual racetrack, but the first thing I really want to do, I want to get a speed test. So we're going to take it out here to Atona Speedway, which is basically Daytona. Hey, look, the NASCARs are still set up here. Ha! Huh. That might be a problem. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get going. Let's see what kind of speed we can get here. So, let's get moving. All right. I like that the tires don't really spin on this one. Unlike the first one, which we're not even going to mention its name. The one I built off camera. But, uh, let's do speed here. Question is, is it going to grip the banking too? It feels a little sketchy on the banking here. Oh, oh, oh. It's okay. It's a little bit of a challenge to drive. Might need a little bit more downforce, a little bit more traction. Might have to adjust the tires a little bit. It looks like this one sets pretty high off the ground, actually. Uh, I figure a car like this would be a little lower. The suspension, though, it is bouncy. All right, so I think we found it. About 181 is our... Oh, we have to actually let off in the corners at Daytona. That's not good. Uh, oh, the uh, front right brake is fading. It's fine. It's fine. We're okay. All right. Let's keep it up here. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. All right, we're just going to run through the field. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, we killed that NASCAR. That's kind of the uh, the comparison there of the damage models. That NASCAR's front end just got annihilated. And our front end actually isn't too bad. Oh, we took out the 88 over there, too. Wow. That was pretty awesome. All right, so I think we need to go, we got two more tests. We're gonna take this to an actual racetrack with tight corners, kind of fill it out there, and then we're gonna do a, I guess we're gonna call it an air test, and we're gonna launch it off a big ramp. All right, so we are in the automation test track. So I'm assuming this is the one that's actually in the automation game along with the Beam and G game now, and this is pretty cool actually. So we're on the handling circuit, so we're just gonna kind of test this thing out, give it a fill, see if it's gonna be okay. Uh, it feels actually fairly decent around these corners. Like, it's not, the wheel spin isn't too bad. It understeers a little bit, but it is really just a sporty street car. I mean, it's pretty souped up for a street car, but still. Oh, yeah. Yep, Komodo's doing a good job here. He's keeping it between the lines. All right, keep going. Feels pretty, yeah, it understeers pretty bad, actually. I wonder how we could fix that. Would adding more downforce, maybe more focus on that, that might help it turn. There's probably some things in the suspension we can do. I'm actually just ready. I, I want to go back into automation and start tweaking again and just keep exporting different models of this. Uh, and I'm starting to really get a feel for this car now. It understeers quite a bit, but I really just think it's just the way it is. Uh, I think there is certain things that we can change. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But it just takes a little bit to get used to. Not bad, though. Not bad for the second car, I would say. I kind of want to, like, go make some other cars, too. Like, maybe some trucks, SUVs, maybe some classic hot rods. Oh, this little uh, collab has just opened up so many opportunities here. This is pretty insane. Uh, we're on a little bit bigger track here. Got a chicane. Let's go and hop over there. We just took off our right side mirror. That's okay. We don't need that. There's nobody else out here. Uh, you know, I actually think this thing would outrun most police cars that I have in my game right now, uh, as far as, like, a top speed sense and acceleration sense, but maybe they would outhandle this. I'm not really sure. But I think there's a really one last thing to do here, and that's going to be to... 
let's just do an air test. Let's just launch this off one of the ramps. Uh, we'll go to either Brutal Slope or maybe Car Jump Arena. I'm not really sure which one I want to go to here. Alright, you know what? I settled on Brutal Slope 2 and really the only reason is because the big tube. So, our final couple tests here, we're going to launch this thing down a ramp just to see what kind of damage we can do to it. Plus, I'm curious. This thing's fast. It's got a lot of acceleration. Will it stick to the top of the tube here is the question. All right, let's go ahead and get going. Speed, speed, speed. Uh, here we go. Oh, oh, it almost stuck. Oh, we probably should have done that later. Oh, there goes the wheel. Oh, jeez. Oh, this is going to be brutal. Oh, no. Hey, we're somewhat... Wait, we can make it around now? Yeah, that's what we needed. We needed only three wheels to do this because that's, that's a thing, apparently. All right. Oh, we're losing speed. Actually, let's see. Can we make it down to the ramp? Come on, car. You can totally do it. You can totally do this. This is gonna work. Here we go. And we have liftoff. Beautiful. Oh, this is gonna hurt. All right, let's see the damage. Ooh! Actually, that was really good that time. That smushed all the way up to the, uh, the driver's compartment. Ha! That was cool. Alright, one last time we're gonna hop in it here. We're not gonna try to actually do the loop until further down. We gotta get some speed built up. Alright, so here we go. Let's see. We might blow the motor. I bet you we would if we were just to go straight down and not scrub off speed with the, uh, the loop here. Uh, I think our topping out speed should be right around 180, but of course it's pushing beyond that. Here we go. Oh, come on, stick! Oh, it's stuck! Alright, do it again! Do it again! Yes! That is sweet. Okay, Han, let's get down here. Oh, don't flip, don't flip. Oh, let's get the speed. Let's see if we can build back up to top speed here. Come on. Come on, need 180. There it is. And whoa! Oh, boy. And boom! That is great. Oh, that's awesome. But anyways, I think that's going to wrap it up for this episode of, I guess we should say, BeamNG Drive slash Automation. If you want to see me design some more cars, screw around with that, let me know. Uh, we do have some multiplayer BeamNG coming. I've got some other BeamNG ideas. We're going to do some police chases and stuff like that. But this is uh, just coming out, so I thought you guys would be interested in it. I'll have everything linked down in the description if you want to go uh, purchase these games. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and we will see you guys next time.